You are on the line. I'm your host, Juan Roque, with the Rhino Ryan Knowles, my brother, my partner in crime. And yes, we sir. are now previewing ASU's upcoming game against Illinois this Saturday. Rhino, a lot of, a lot, lots Maroon been said about Monsoon. this game. Maroon Monsoon. Yes. They're definitely Wear trying to Maroon. get the fans out. Wear your Maroon. We'll be in Maroon. Yes, sir. We'll be at the game. We'll be right uh, south, of, south of Lot 59. Yeah. Look for us under the big twin electrical towers. We'd love for you to stop and say hi. Love our tailgate. Always love, love to hear from the fans. Gate. We love, love our tailgates. Tailgate. Gavin yes. Rolf, we love it, man. And Rhino, this this is a game that is one of those games where you, you look at the personnel on Illinois, and this is a winnable game for ASU. But it's absolutely. not going to be a walk in the park by no, any stretch of the imagination. No, absolutely not. I mean, this is a team that, you know, Nate Shieldhouse, very dangerous quarterback, a dual threat quarterback, burned them. Uh, last year, but he's not 100% right now. Suffered right. an ankle injury against Western Michigan. Still had a nice game, 11, 1,826 yards. Ran uh, for 21 yards and a score. But, you know, you just you, you question his decision-making because he th he tends to make too many bad decisions, should, you know, doesn't dive when he should, mm -hmm. you know, tends to throw a couple picks. He threw one against Western Michigan. Uh, he practiced today, looks healthy, um, but, you know, just is he going to be 100% by game time? That's, right. the big, that's the big key. And I, if I'm ASU, I'm pinning my exactly. ears back. I'm coming exactly. back after him with everything. Yeah, I've been saying Absolutely. that all week to everyone that I've been talking to, yes. Rhino, is that this is a game where Shieldhouse needs to be punished. I believe you're going to start seeing the blitz factors coming in. Yes. Line games from the defensive line. Safety's coming over the corner. I think Nate Shieldhouse is going to be in for a bruise on Saturday because when the quarterback's hurt, it's not that you're trying to hurt him even more, but you definitely do want to get him thinking. You want to get him moving around to where you know he's not going to be as efficient or as effective as he was if if he's able to just stand in the pocket and pick you apart. Yeah, and, and Nate Shieldhouse is a running quarterback anyway, so yeah. if his ankle starts to bother him because he's getting hit, you know, left and right, and trust me, folks, our quarterback it gets dangerous. I mean, it, it gets dangerous back there and it gets painful. So I think for Nate Shieldhaus, he's the key. We got it. We got to take him out of that game. And he doesn't have that dangerous weapon on the outside that he had in AJ Jenkins last right. year when these two teams faced each and other. That kid made a big catch. Yeah, exactly. Last and, year. But he does have still have Ryan Lankford. He's very dangerous in the slot. Had a long touchdown against Western Michigan. Darius Malines and Spencer Harris. They're 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 good options. But you know, can Shieldhaus get the ball out quick enough to get to them? Yeah, that's going to be the big key. And then, but the big. X factor in this game for the Illini might be their big H back, John Davis. They also like to run, line been, him up at running back. Yeah, he's a load. It's he's, six, like, three, he's like a slash kind yeah, of player. Six for them. three, two forty. You know, ran for ran for a couple nice had a couple nice runs against Western Michigan. They also got a little bit of a running back by guy committee by committee going with Donovan Young and Josh Ferguson right now. But yeah, John Davis to me that big H back. He's going to be the factor in this game. Watch for them to get him the ball in various positions, and ASU has got to stay home in this game. They've got to keep to their assignments because Illinois loves to run a lot of misdirection on offense, so they have got to focus and keep to their assignments. That's got to be the biggest key in this right, game to me. Key. Okay, let's talk about impact players. Who needs to have a big game, in your opinion, Rhino, for ASU to be victorious? In my opinion, I feel it's Cameron Marshall. Yeah. they they got to stay on the ground. they got to keep to the basics, ground and pound. You know, They, they talk about you know, high octane, get in the left lane, hit the gas. But I think against a Big Ten team, you have to be solid in your running game. Cam Marshall needs a big game, game for ASU to and get the And that's going to be tough with the kind of athletes that Illinois has on their front seven with Michael Buchanan and Akeem Spence and a tackling machine at linebacker in, uh, in uh, Jonathan Brown. So it's going to be tough for them. But, yeah, I do agree Cameron Marshall has to have a big game. But the key player for me, and I talked about him a little bit in our, one of our previous segments, and that is the spur linebacker Chris Young. Uh, he, number 21. He had a nice game against NAU, but they, I, I think he has the speed and the athleticism to spy Nate Shieldhouse because that's what's going to be the big key because Shieldhouse is going to want to get out of the pocket. He's going to want to run. He's going to want to make use his legs to beat ASU, and that's got to be the biggest key. They've got to spy him spy constantly. Him. Spy him and hit him. Yeah, spy him he, and hit him. Yeah, exactly, and I think Chris Young is the guy to do that. Now, Chris Young definitely showing a lot of talent at that linebacker position. I still think, like we were talking about Rhino, you know, Nate Shieldhouse is definitely going to be the key on defense to stop him. And how much of a revenge factor is, oh, this is in this game? Huge because last year was factor. such a disappointing, gut wrenching loss. Oh, absolutely. A lot of, lot of players, a lot of players, our house. a lot of players on this team feel like they should have had that game in Champaign last they year. They should have had it. A tough loss, 17 oh. 13. You know, they, they really got pressed, pressed into some bad decisions. They really couldn't uh, capitalize on any, on any mistakes by Illinois. That was a tough loss to take last year. Not only that, ASU's got a bunch of guys on their team with with uh, with Illinois ties. You know, Darwin Rogers, the tight ends from Chicago. Ron West and Chip Long were coaches on Ron Zook's staff last year at Illinois. So a lot, it's a lot of storylines in this game. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Absolutely. And of course, folks, you're more than free to join the conversation on our Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you, the fans. What do you think the keys to victory are? Who do you think the impact players should be? We definitely look forward to hearing from you on our Facebook page.